Well, these armed robberies are becoming more prevalent every single day all across the city. Chicago police now warning of at least 12 of these armed robberies that happened in several different neighborhoods, all of them connected to each other. New surveillance video tonight shows the moment a liquor shop was robbed at gunpoint in West Ridge. You can see a man enter a and P liquors on West Peterson Avenue Thursday night as he flashes his gun and demands money from the clerk. The store owners were too shaken to talk to us on camera, but they say more than $10,000 was stolen. The owner of a cell phone repair shop right next door says the common occurrence of these crimes is changing the way he does business. Now I even change my business hours. I, I close early now. I mean, I tend to close around 6 o'clock where pretty much because all the problems happens, you know, literally after, you know, dark time. The surveillance video from that same incident also shows another armed man forcing some of the customers to the ground while robbing them of their belongings. Chicago police now connecting that robbery to a string of 11 others that have happened in the last week in several neighborhoods across the city. Vassal Food and Liquor is another shop in West Ridge that was robbed last night near Howard and Northwestern. Police say three gunmen walked into the store, firing shots at the clerk, leading to a shootout. Surveillance video shows people running for cover, and now two bullet holes remain in the store's front window. A woman who brings her kids to this area all the time says this crime is just out of hand. It's very concerning because we have kids walking past here all day long. You know, you have um, nail shops, you know, people want to get their self together and they can't do that in peace because you never know what's going to occur. According to Chicago police data analyzed by the ABC 7 data team, armed robberies are up almost 34% in the last year. That's compared to the average of the previous three years. So police are now searching for those three suspects. The description they gave for the suspects is 20 to 30 years old, often wearing a mask, dark clothing and gloves. At this time, no one has been arrested. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.